Guy Walks Into a Bar is the forthcoming album from Mini Mansions. We are joined by Mikey and Tyler from the band. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you. Welcome back to San Francisco. Thank you. I feel like Pleasure. I've just seen you guys. Where? Because you yeah, are where? touring incessantly. Uh, Queens of the Stone Age was in town, oh, maybe about a year ago. And then uh, Arctic Monkeys, shit, like Shadow Puppets were in town. It's just like, do you guys ever... We get around. Yeah, do you guys ever personally feel like, I, I, I got to get away from the road or is this just kind of what you live wow for? man I should, now let's just mention it jeez <laughs> just keeps calling us back yeah. though uh of course but uh no we love to play music and that's what we're that's what we do uh very uh consistently yeah I mean, in cosmopolitan. I, I guess while you still have the energy, right? Until you get to a point where it's like, all right, got to pack a suitcase for three weeks and make sure I have enough underwear and shoes and those kind of things. Yeah. My thing is, even at home, I live out of a suitcase, so it, yeah. nothing really changes. It's just like because you, you, yeah, you really don't have time to like, yeah, stop, um, smell the roses. Thank you, San Francisco. We're going to be from Los Angeles. It's been a handful of years since the last album and then you released uh, b-sides and then you released the ep and now this album so there, there's some momentum coming here do you feel somewhat removed from the material that you wrote that has come out and is coming out now to be able to separate yourself not for me i, I think that because uh the songs as soon as they leave the studio they're and they get into other people's ears they're they're kind of not yours anymore like we work diligently to make sure that we're happy with all the songs but then once they're out in the world it's like they're yours and you can take whatever you want from them and then when you start playing them especially with our new uh live show with john on drums they they've taken on a whole new life so yeah they've breathed life back into us and and um, I, they're still exciting to me for sure yeah so w tyler when you get a semblance of some of the songs that mike has written and personal aspect of it, especially something like Midnight in Tokyo, where it is so personal. How did that affect you, or and how did the song's personal, intimate relationship? Yeah, uh, Tyler. Uh, how, uh, dawn upon you. I don't know. I never, how do you well, how you absorb it? You know, we all like basically composited this as a band, and for me, it's much more of a part of like the bigger picture for the record. And so, like these songs basically the weight that each song carries is its own weight in like a fantastical world that i is like 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 we were talking about once it's done it's done and you kind of make it your own so when we played it when we started playing these songs live i think that process was a lot, lot more like personal and inclusive in terms of how i approach the songs mm -hmm. on stage being friends obviously I'm, I'm sure that you already have the intimate knowledge and in, in what he's going through and those kind of things and I, I admire and respect artists like yourself that do things like that in terms of just pouring your heart out into song has there been any song or anything that's been difficult to reinterpret live not live I you know kind of like Tyler what Tyler's saying it's like every song we do whether you know Tyler wrote it I wrote it like they're coming from a personal place no matter what I think just that, like, this, the batch of songs that I wrote um, on this record um, happened to be very uh, transparent. I think, I don't know, not, n nothing yet. We haven't played the, actually the gnarliest one for me yet, so. Um, hey Lover is, is, is a little rough, but because Tyler's singing Allison's part, it's, 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 it's turned into actually a little <laughs> more comical than the track actually is. Um, which I love. I think that's like, that's what we're saying. Why? Because I sing like a, like all funny like, <laughs> <laughs> like a clown. Like a clown. Um, <laughs> I'm hitting a music. Um, no, it's just a, it's just a different thing, and that's what's great about it. Playing yeah. it live. In previous works, you guys have switched off on vocals based on you know who wrote the songs and things like that. Uh, how is this album playing out that we should expect? You know, I think in the past we were we. You know, for our own reasons, we really wanted to go over the top in terms of harmonies and like back and forths. And not to say that we still don't, it just depends on the song, but I think for this particular record, it's the first time that we felt really comfortable not just having gangs of vocals for verses or just having, you know, ultra harmonies at every, you know, nook and cranny, every little twist and turn. I think this was the first time that we decided not to do that. So it's almost like we're, we're like, what do you call it, uh, going in reverse to a much more simpler mode of 
uh, displaying a song and not dressing it up necessarily with uh, bells and whistles hmm. and stuff like that. A little more raw, a little bit more connected yeah, to the lyrics. Yeah. You once said that this album has a lot of jokes. I wanted to get some clarification on what you meant by that. Well, I think uh, if you look at Mini Mansion's history, I think there's always a bit of comedy um, and sarcasm kind of going throughout our records. And I think, I think because we feel it's important to not take ourselves too seriously and, um, and keep it fun and light, on, and although the content on this record is, is uh, pretty heavy, the name of the record is called Guy Walks Into a Bar, which is obviously... Um, we didn't know until way later that that's like a, an open end <laughs> to a joke. Crazy. It's just really um, awkward. I don't think there's just jokes. I don't know if there's jokes on the record, but there's just uh, funny one-liners, I think, that make you giggle. Like on Gummy Bear, like all the sound effects we yeah, use. Yeah, and yeah. like it's funny it's i mean it's like listen, listen to the words it's like it's a serious it's their serious content but what we're talking about like mama like mama and baba like m and m and all like the, all the like kind of skit <laughs> all the skit stuff that they do in between verses and bars it was really cool finally 10 years of mini mansions question for both of you are you at a point where you expected it to be or do you think there's so much more to go We, I, don't, I don't have any expectations, <laughs> but I know there's so much more to go. Let's put it that way. Yeah, there's all, there's always there's always more to go, and there's always room to grow. <laughs> more to go. And, there, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> room to grow. If if you're content, I mean, I'm also, you know, an unhappy person. Yeah, I'm also like a little bit psychotic. So, <laughs> um, there's always more to do, and so like, and I, but I really do think that if you're all if you're content. Like retiring doesn't sound good to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, right. I don't think that's good for your brain and your body. Yeah. So, so, so you're not going to record. Be, so you're not going to be playing Vegas anytime soon. And uh, I would love to working. do resident. I would love to do residency. That's still that'd be working. great. That'd be great. Yeah. If we're big enough to do a residency in Vegas, that, yeah. I mean, maybe that's it. There's a slot for mini mansions. I'm sure. All right. It's not just all EDM and. Uh, Send the check to five five five. <laughs> great to see you guys again. You too. Appreciate your time. Cheers. Look yeah, man. forward to the album. It's uh, Tyler and Mike from Mini Mansions. You're watching B-Sides on air.